Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mamana Imi Umano My matric number is 1170857 And today, I would like to present about my review paper Which is Copper Based Metal Organic Framework MOF via Sonochemical Technique A review on time, temperature and initial concentration Without further ado, let's get started Firstly, we will look into the definition of metal organic framework. So, what is metal organic framework? Metal organic framework can be defined as one, two, or three dimensional solid crystalline material, which can be self-assembled to the coordination of metal ion and organic linkers or ligand. For the characteristic of metal organic framework, metal organic framework is highly porous or also have large pore size. Besides, metal organic framework are thermal and mechanically stable and also metal organic framework has high surface area for selective absorption for its application. In fact, there are several ways to synthesize metal organic framework which include sonochemical, solvothermal, slow evaporation, microwave, mechanochemical and also electrochemical. And then, the unique thing about metal organic framework is we can predict the structure of the final product by altering the metal and organic linkers chosen in the production of metal organic framework. Based on the previous research, the effect of parameters such as time, temperature and initial concentration play a major role to the formation of particle size and morphology of metal organic framework. And then, for the synthesis of metal organic framework, it can be categorized into two types, which is traditional technique and also modern technique. The one and only example for this traditional technique is slow evaporation. Slow evaporation is considered as the simplest synthesis technique among other techniques. This is because no external reaction needed for this process. And also, this process can be generated at room temperature only. And then, we will look into the example of the modern technique. For the first one is solvothermal technique. In solvothermal technique, metal organic framework is prepared in autogenous pressure in a sealed container at high temperature and also pressure. For the second example is microwave technique. In this technique, when microwave energy is applied, Metal organic framework with nano size particle can be generated. This technique is also considered efficient because it can transfer uh, the energy directly and uniformly throughout an object. For the third example of modern technique is mechanochemical technique. In this synthesis technique, it can be achieved without or using a solvent. In this synthesis technique, chemical transformation happens when mechanical forces is applied onto the mixture of metal salt and also organic linkers to produce metal organic framework. For the next example is electrochemical technique. This technique is different to the other technique because in this technique, metal salt is replaced by the metal ion. Metal ion will then react with the organic linker in the medium of electrolyte to produce a large number of metal organic framework. And then we will look into the last example of modern technique which is sonochemical technique which is used to study the effect of time, temperature and initial concentration in this study. So what is the definition of sonochemical technique? Sonochemical technique or sonochemistry can be defined as a process where molecule undergo reaction when massive ultrasound irradiation are being applied. The interaction between high energy of ultrasound irradiation with liquid will produce changes. These changes is enhanced by the high ultrasound irradiation due to the cavitation process. As a result, massive energy will be released which consists of high temperature and also pressure to produce nano size particle of metal organic framework. That is the definition of sonochemical technique. And then if we look into the advantages of sonochemical technique, in this review I have listed three main 
advantages for sonochemical technique for the first one is sonochemical technique has shorter reaction time in 2010 Hush et al have prepared metal organic framework with three different metal in this study three synthesis technique have been used to prepare BMOF which is solvo thermal sonochemical and also microwave technique the result reveal that Solvo thermal synthesis technique has the longest preparation time, which is 48 hours to prepare metal organic framework, while microwave technique has the shortest time to prepare metal organic framework, which take up to only 9 minutes. But microwave technique has a limitation compared to sonochemical technique. This is why sonochemical technique is efficient because it only takes about 2 hours to prepare metal organic framework and without any limitation. As a matter of fact, HQ et al. in 2010 have prepared ferrum based metal organic framework by the reaction of iron and benzene 1,4-dicarboxylate. This ferrum based metal organic framework is synthesized by three techniques, which is for the first one is sonochemical technique, the second one is microwave technique, and the last one is conventional heating, or we can say as solvothermal. The characterization of ferrum based metal organic framework is carried out by X ray diffraction and also scanning electron emission. Based on the figure, it can be said that sonochemical technique has the highest rate of crystallization compared to microwave technique and conventional technique. This is because sonochemical technique can produce high rate of crystalline over a short period of time. For the third advantages of sonochemical technique is that this technique can produce metal organic framework with high absorption capacity. In 2017, Wahidu Zaman et al. have prepared copper-based metal organic framework by the reaction of copper dinitrate trihydrate with trimary acid. During the preparation of copper-based metal organic framework, the mixture then were exposed with three different sonification time. The first one is 120 minutes. The second one is 60 minutes and the last one is 30 minutes. The characterization of copper-based metal organic framework is then carried out by X-ray diffraction and also scanning electron emission. The result of sonification synthesis is compared with previous study, which is conventional heating to compare the absorption capacity between those methods. The result revealed that Copper-based metal organic framework prepared by sonochemical technique has larger surface area compared to metal organic framework prepared by solvothermal technique. In overall, it can be said that copper-based metal organic framework prepared by sonochemical technique is better compared to the one prepared by solvothermal technique. And then, we will move on to the next part which is effect of sonochemical technique. In this part, I will explain how sonochemical technique will affect the formation of metal organic framework. For the first one is effect of time. In 2017, Armstrong et al. reported that copper BTC or copper benzene 135 tricarboxylate was synthesized by the reaction of copper nitrate and benzene 135 tricarboxylate. Copper nitrate and BTC undergone ultrasound irradiation to study the effect of formation of metal organic framework and its particle size. The result stated that sonification time is highly affected the average particle size and also percentage heat of copper metal organic framework. When sonification time is increased, the percentage yield of the copper metal organic framework also increase. However, when the sonification time reached 30 minutes, the average particle size of copper MOF started to decline and percentage yield of copper MOF remained unchanged. For the next one is the effect of temperature. In fact, Mahrani et al. in 2014 reported that copper MOF were constructed by exposing three different temperatures which is 70 degrees Celsius, 
40 degree Celsius and also 10 degree Celsius to study the formation of metal organic framework and also its morphology. This analysis was done by three instrumental. The result revealed that each temperature will contribute to different morphologies, which is 70 degrees Celsius will result in laminate-like morphology, 40 degrees Celsius produce pellet-like morphology, and 10 degrees Celsius will produce rice grain-like morphology. And then we will move on to the third and last effect of parameter, which is effect of initial concentration. In 2010, Hassan Poe et al. have synthesis copper metal organic framework using three different initial concentration, which is 0.01 molar, 0.05 molar, and also 0.1 molar. Each of these synthesis conditions have label which sample A, sample D, and sample E respectively. The result revealed that sample A, which initial concentration of 0.01 molar, will produce nano sheet like morphology with 70 to 150 nanometer. Sample D, which 0.05 molar of initial concentration, will produce plate like morphology with average particle size of 200 to 500 nanometer of copper metal organic framework. When 0.1 molar of initial concentration is used to produce copper metal organic framework, the copper metal organic framework is then started to agglomerate to form root shape of morphology with average particle size of 400 nanometer to 2 micrometer. So it can be said that the effect of parameter such as effect of time, effect of temperature and also effect of initial concentration is important because it can contribute to different average particle size and also morphology of the copper metal organic framework. In conclusion, sonar chemical technique or ultrasound irradiation is indeed beneficial because it can provide many important features such as cavitation effect which resulted in shorter reaction time, high rate of crystallization and also high absorption capacity. However, in order to optimize the production of copper metal organic framework, the effect of parameters such as effect of time, effect of temperature and effect of initial concentration must be further explored and studied to be able to produce metal organic framework with desired characteristic such as large surface area. This is the reference used in the slide and video presentation. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention.